Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Leo. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And this is for the week of September 7th through the 13th. Now, I already did one for you guys, but I decided that I'm going to do it over. Um, what I got was things are about to change. Okay, things are about to change. You've been waiting for something, waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. Uh, feeling very alone by the looks of things. I feel like you've been waiting for some sort of partnership, maybe a reconciliation. Doesn't have to be with a lover. There's, it's like you've been waiting for something, waiting for somebody to change. Whoever you're waiting for to change is not going to change. And I think that you need to accept that. I also, and it may be you needing to change because I saw a lot of stubbornness here. So the winds of change are definitely upon you. And I was sitting outside meditating, knowing that you guys are next. And thinking about, you know, the one that I just did and, you know, I'm going to do another one, whatever. And I got the message that, you know, you need to accept this change. There is going to be a loss, okay? Because we have the Ace of Pentacles reversed. And I know you guys don't want to hear it, right? You don't want to hear about loss. Well, loss is reality. Ace of Pentacles is about reality. And I think that having a hard time accepting reality is a big deal. And I did have the Chariot reversed, which was right over here. Now, the chariot reversed, there's a car beeping over there, it's about a car. I don't know if you guys can hear it in the background. Somebody's alarm is going off, their car alarm just stopped. No, it's still going. Anyway, before I heard that start beeping just now, I was going to say we have some issues with a car. So you may be needing to let go of a car. You know, there's something, there's some sort of car issues. And I don't know if there's a car accident even, or something to do with a car. We have the Ace of Pentacles down here, which is the loss of something that you had, okay? I also see financial burdens. You guys are, are going through some sort of financial stress, put it that way. If you could sell it or get rid of it, whatever, it doesn't have to be a car, your financial burdens would loosen up, okay? But there's stubbornness and a need to show. There's like a show, I gotta put on a show. Let go of the show, okay? It's not about the show, it's about reality. It's about uh, stability and security. And the reason I, I say that is because we had the Nine of Pentacles right in the middle of your reading in reversed. The Nine of Pentacles is somebody that is unstable that has made poor financial decisions. You know, perhaps you need to sell something to become stable again, but there's stubbornness because of the show. So let's get, and I don't know what it is, but let's get started. So what do we have for, for Leo? Now keep in mind that in uh, side reel astrology, I am Leo rising. So this is pretty interesting to me. Um, I did see the chariot reversed, which is uh, an emotional outburst ahead or emotions all over the place. You need to find control. You need to find your discipline. Um, the chariot can be hiding behind a mask, you know. Ace of Pentacles about reality. I also had the Knight of Pentacles reversed, which was somebody that's not being practical. So, somebody could, you know, maybe spending money, spending outside of their means to look good. And it doesn't have to be the car, it could be the clothes, whatever it is. If you don't have the financial means to do it, then get rid of it. So anyway, what do we have for Leo? Mm. Now that is reversed, unfortunately. It is. It's, a, it's reversed. So this is, it's like you have to love yourself. It's not about the things. And I know that's what this is about. It's like they're trying to get you to see that love comes from within. It doesn't come from the things that you hold on to. I think that you are blessed with a very big heart. Okay, I do. I think that you are, are you have a very big heart. But my message to you is whatever it is that you are holding on to, I don't think that's love. 
because I, I, I saw that Ace of Pentacles reversed and I saw the Four of Cups as well. It's like you're missing an opportunity for love because of something that you can touch. You know, and the universe acts in mysterious ways. If your ego is in the way of uh, you doing the right thing, then they may... There's consequences. Ego brings consequences. So it's, it's interesting. It's interesting. So some of you are looking for love, right? But if your materialism is in the way, then they may not reward you. I'm just being honest with you. I'm going to leave this up right. But I feel like you have a blessing that, and I saw that in the other reading. You're, because we had, right here we had the uh, garden in the gate where she's waiting. And here was the two of cups in this deck. So you're waiting for love. But there's something you need to get rid of first. And if you're going to let your ego get in the way of true happiness, which is love, then you're going to pay the consequences. You need to be able to deal with your ego before they're going to bring you the perfect match. So I do, do believe that you have an opportunity for love. But it's not in your car or your house or your clothes. What do we have for Leo? One card, please. I think you're in a messy situation. As those cards fell out, it was a big mess. There's probably going to be a fallout with somebody. I saw that too. You're dealing with somebody who makes a lot of mistakes, right? And maybe it's you. I don't know. Impulsive behavior. We had the fool. It was the full foolish pride. You have an opportunity to uh, step into a new existence. But you think about the Fool. The Fool card is about leaving all of the stuff behind. The Fool starts a new journey, a new spiritual journey without those things. But if you have a big ego, you won't be able to let go of those things. balance interesting now this is the justice card but it reminds me of the magician card it does because it has all the uh the same tools that the magician has but this is the justice card so this is about getting what you deserve making a decision balance justice is about an, a decision that needs to be made this is about your resources you have to make a decision based on the facts this next week <clears throat> life is going to give you an opportunity to be honest with yourself to be truthful and to make a decision that could bring you balance and it's funny because the only reading I get choked up on is yours and it feels because you it feels like you guys aren't being honest. It's not about the show. What do we have for Leo? You have a you have an opportunity to be honest to to bring balance to your life. But you have to do the right thing. Now this the justice card is about karma. There's two sides to everything. Karma sees straight through a situation. That is the truth. There's no toleration for lies. There's no toleration. You have to be real. You have to be realistic. You have to be honest and upfront about, you know, what is serving you, what isn't. What is the truth here? There could be news of legalities this week. And it could be heartbreaking because that was reversed. Ooh. 
needle and thread, a sincere wish will be granted. March, something in regards to the month of March. You figure it out. Could be any year the month of March, could be the upcoming March, something is going to happen in March or it happened in March. March is very relevant for you. Wealth. Wealth. This is all about wealth. It absolutely is. I know that it is. Cup. Ooh. Okay. You should accept valid criticism. Not easy. Since I've just dished it right out. Some of you, a lot of you haven't even, well obviously the ones that are still here have, have made it this far. But a lot of you can't accept this and have already left. And that's why I have such a hard time doing Leo readings. Leo does not want to hear the negative. They do not want to hear the criticism. Oh, it's not for me. Bullshit. This is all about your wealth. A wish is going to be granted, but you have to be honest with yourself. You have to be able to accept criticism whether you like it or not. Your wish may be granted in March. That's if, because the laws of karma see through everything. So you have to make a decision based on some sort of facts this week. Be sure that you are making the right decision. This does have to do with your money. I know that it does. What do we have for Leo? Magician. Interesting. Interesting. Because that reminds me of the magician. So this is about take action right now. This is somebody who does something about it. This is a golden opportunity. Take charge. This is an opportunity to manifest something new, to create something new. But this is somebody that has to take action. All is not as it seems. Something is about to be revealed or the truth this is a reality check. The moon reverse a reality check. This is let go. Unbelievable. A conscious change is needed. Ten of Wands reversed. That is let go of something you are hanging on to, Leo. Let go of it. Let go of it. Let go of the need to prove something to everybody else. You're trying to prove something. Ten of Wands upright is trying to prove. What are you trying to prove? That, that you have this? That, you, that this thing makes you a better person? That's all ego. You have the power right now to let go of something that is nothing but a burden to you. I don't think you can afford it. Probably looks real good though. All is not as it seems. It's going to end up costing you more in the end because the universe doesn't like this decision. And you don't have to believe me. You'll be the one that suffers by holding on to it. You must take action. And it's like I've been beating a dead horse. <sighs> There's self-deception here with that moon card. Ah! Oh, God. Ah, yeah, it's time to move on. It is definitely time to move on. I feel like you will receive the answer to your prayers as soon as you accept reality and make a decision. But this is not making the right decision. Lack of wish fulfillment. You have to take action to get what... If you are looking for balance in your life, you're looking to get what you deserve, you're looking for wish fulfillment, then you need to do something about it. 
And you're not. I don't think you're making the right decision. You're holding on to something you need to let go of. I think that there is going to be legalities. There's going to be news of, of, of legalities. Uh, you know, um, something isn't fair. You may receive some bad news and you may say this isn't fair. You know, this is a divine connection. As above, so below. The universe sees everything. They do see everything. I think that you definitely need to get prepared. You need to get prepared for... Um, A departure of some sort. Something is leaving because of that three of wands reversed. I feel like help is going to arrive for you. Because that star comes after the tower falls. You are probably going to be experiencing a tower moment. Or you have experienced a tower moment. But the star is a card of hope. It's a card of renewal. And it's actually a blessing in disguise. You are tr they're trying to guide you out of a situation in which you have, uh, it's, it's like you've closed your eyes to it. You just don't see the truth. And I feel like uh, there's, this is an injustice. This isn't fair. This is a, uh, things not turning out the way that, that you hoped. That justice card is reversed. I mean, that's bad luck. It's bad karma. I feel like the universe is, is, uh, very dissatisfied. This is very, very, very dissatisfied. Nine of Cups reversed. It's like I want to have it all, but I can't afford it all. You know what I mean? So anyway, I feel like there's... there's uh, If you're not taking action, the law could be stepping in or something like that. Something is happening here where you're not going to be happy with the outcome. And I think that this is its what's happening here is something may be taken away with this Six of Swords. Something, somebody may be going or something out. Uh, uh, something is going somewhere. It's time to go. It is time to go. But you've been re unrealistic. You haven't been able to accept reality. You haven't. I mean, the moon reversed is lack of reality. It's, it's illusion. It is. And it's self-deception. Anyhow, I feel like you've you've uh, been in a place of mental conflict. This Eight of Swords is mental conflict. It's mental turmoil. It's trapped, trapped in, in not seeing things clearly. Definitely hiding behind a mask with that mask on, uh, in a situation that really is is not comfortable. I think you have been in this situation for some time. It feels like you've been praying for more resources or maybe you've been praying for, you know, things to change, but you have to take action. It's like you want, it's almost like you want them to help you. You're begging for change, but you're not willing to sacrifice. You have to let go of something, period. Before you will be rewarded. It's just the way it goes. If your ego is in the way, then you're not going to be rewarded. Not at this time. Not this time in the in the earth, in the universe. Especially now for the rest of the year. There is something that you need to let go of. Um, now that Eight of Swords is some sort of mental prison. Trapped. Stuck. Stuck in a situation that you can get out of. You can. Yeah, it's like you're praying. You're praying for help. Oh, please come help me. Please come help me. Help yourself, Leo. Help yourself. You know, but you won't because of whatever it is that you need to get rid of looks so freaking good, right? It looks good. So that's part of the problem here. There's consequences. This is a card of conf consequences. If it, There's two sides to every situation. If you... Uh, can't let go of whatever it is that you're holding on to, then you're the one that suffers. You're the one that suffers in this prison. That's exactly what it is, too. Anyway, I feel like you need to move on from something that is just causing you too much trouble. I feel like um, there's, there's uh, a better place. This is a better moving to a better place. Some of you may be actually moving. Maybe you're planning on moving or you're thinking about moving, but you're stuck. You're trapped. Maybe you want to move or you're going to need to move. You may even be asked to move. Okay, so you may, somebody may, you know, take action against you. It could be legal action. Somebody could be taking legal action against you because, you know, you don't have any resources, but there's something you can sell, but you won't sell it because of stubbornness because of shallowness I mean this is shallow it is I'm saying anyhow I feel like uh, they hear your prayers I think that they have heard your prayers 
I feel like um, as soon as you take action and let go of whatever it is that you need to let go of, your prayers will be answered. Whatever this prayer is, whatever you've been praying for, they're just waiting for you. The, the universe is waiting for you. They're waiting for you to step outside of your your mental conflict and step out of the situation that you're in. It's like you they're, they're not going to do all the work for you. You have to do something too. You know, you have to make an effort. You have to make an effort to release. You have to make a conscious change and let go. And I think within, within, you say you let go of whatever this is, okay? It's materialistic, whatever it is. You let go of it. You let go of it. You move on, okay? Within three weeks, whatever it is that you have been praying for that is realistic will be granted. A wish is going to be granted. But it hasn't been granted yet because you're not doing the right thing. This is not doing the right thing. You should be focusing on the future, not the past. But the only way you can focus on the future, and when you let go of the past, you let go of the past. That means you let go of the things in the past. Did you hear me? That, make, that means that you let go of the things of the past. Otherwise, you're going to stay trapped in the past. And you're going to be weighed down. So this is a week where you make a decision. Do you want to live in the past? Or do you want to live in the future? So this is a week of manifestation. It is a week of change. It really is. But it starts with you. Good luck.